Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a rewind of past videos of the items that I either purchased or that were favorites. So I haven't done this type of video in a while, so I'm going to combine three of my past videos, partly two because I don't have all those items anymore, so I didn't want it to be a super fast video or a super long video as well. So the first video I have up, and I'll link down below, I have it on my phone so I can read the products that, oh, I hit a button, read the products that I was able to either purchase or were favorites, just to let y'all know. The first um, video is the drugstore haul, CVS, and this was back in July of last year. I purchased the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. It's that green mascara. Um, it wasn't a favorite of mine, and I don't have any more. The Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio, I gave that away. It wasn't as easy to glide on and slide on my to put on my eyelids so I gave that away. Bio True Contact Solution I picked up as well. Love that contact solution. We'll still buy it but right now I am using um, another kind. The CVS Premium Cotton Rounds. I have strayed away from those. I like the Intrinsics version better. Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. Love that for a drugstore eyeliner. However, lately in the past year I have been trying more of my eyeliners out so I'm trying to work those through my collection before I go back and purchase that one but that one is a really great starter liquid eyeliner and I would recommend it and even would purchase it again myself. So the two items in that video that I do still have are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This is in Creamy Beige and the other one is in dramatic black. So I'll go ahead and swatch them. These are both mattes. I think they came out of their matte collection. I um, haven't really used these too much. I was too worried about focusing on other ones. But this is just a nice, I wouldn't say it's a beige color. Well, I guess so. It's a light brown shade and it's just a really nice base. I love these and the matte formula is really nice. They almost look and feel like powders. The next one I have here, it again is called Dramatic Black, and this is a black shade. I haven't really, again, been using these too much, but they are still good. The black one, I feel, is a little bit more patchy, doesn't spread on as easily, so you definitely have to work with it more to get what you would want out of it. Um, but the creamy beige one I definitely would recommend if you're looking for a matte brown from the drugstore. So that was the products in that video. Um, the next video that I'm going to rewind and give you re-reviews of is the July Favorites and Empties. I posted August 7th last year. I'll link it down below. But I just wanted to share with you the favorites. So the first thing I talked about was my Urban Decay Naked Palette. This palette, if you guys have it, is perfect for the fall. So if y'all are panning palettes or just want a palette to come back to, this is the perfect palette for the fall. They have gorgeous gold brown kind of plummy shades that are just perfect for the fall. So I would totally recommend pulling this baby back out. I'm doing so myself. Love Half Baked and Sin and all the shades in here. Totally would recommend and love this thing still. I would say it's an every month favorite for me. The next thing is my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is a very nice, fresh, um, florally kind of scent. Really like this. I am currently trying to pan and use this up since it is um, for 36 months. I have had it for about two and a half years, so I do want to use this up before it smells straight up like alcohol, but I would recommend at least getting a little sample of it or a rollerball of this scent. It is really gorgeous and just makes me feel grown up at the same time. Um, the next product was the Marc Anthony's Dream Waves Beach Spray. I really loved that. I have no idea what happened to it. I was using it downstairs in the bathroom and it just magically disappeared one day. And the last product for that video I'm going to talk about is a nail polish. This is the Essie Jamaican Me Crazy. 
and this was excuse my nail polish now I have to redo that but this is a gorgeous like purpley pink with like shimmer sparkle to it color love this 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 applies beautifully it has really good pigmentation some Essie nail polishes I feel like you can paint it three times and you don't see anything on your nails this however you see it it's gorgeous totally would recommend it if they still have it this might have been in a limited edition collection for like a summer back in the day but still love it and would repurchase it once I'm done with it and then the last rewind is my September favorite since that has it's now been a year since then and I'm gonna get back on track with posting a year after but um, the first thing I talked about were these two L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows still really love them and have purchased other colors this is in ice latte and the other ones in amber rush so they look like that oh my gosh it looks like my eyes just thought that was funny okay so this ice latte the formula of this is very pigmented they have a little stopper and I definitely recommend that y'all keep those in there or it won't be as pretty basically but this ice latte is a really pigmented champagne color let me put this down so I don't make a mess and I'm gonna switch it right there this is just gorgeous I use it for all over the lid like I don't know if y'all can see it but it is really pretty for all over the lid gorgeous gorgeous color and then what I sometimes do if I want a darker look or I put the the ice latte all over my eye and then this more on the crease this again is amber rush and this is more of a I probably swatched that too a coppery gold kind of color and it looks like that so again that's um, iced latte and then amber rush really pretty gorgeous shades and I would recommend them for the fall as well with that Urban Decay Naked palette so let me put those up before I topple them over um, I also purchased a gray and a blue in this infallible from L'Oreal shade and I love them I've heard that these are very comparable I think to Giorgio Armani but I'm not 100% sure I haven't tried any of those out so don't take my word for it the next thing I talked about my phone turned off my phone what do we do without phones um, is my wet and wild trio and walking on eggshells I use this baby for a long time and I do still use the little ow applicators so this is walking on eggshells y'all have probably heard it many times if you haven't purchased it it's about three bucks get it these are just perfect basic colors Let's see if I can swatch it the they're just very pigmented everyday kind of colors and I'm seriously would wear this look all the time in high school and college all the time and they are right there there's the pink the brown and then the brow bone so I have hit pan as you can tell really do love this and once I finish this I would repurchase it for three dollars and that grade of pigmentation and the colors are just perfect everyday colors like I said I would totally totally love it still love it love it Can I just say love it so my September favorites are basically my every month favorites as you can tell in my favorite videos if I post them every month which sometimes I don't because I kind of am just re-loving and loving the products that I use on an everyday basis and I kind of don't want to be too repetitive on my channel that's why I'd rather do project pans or empties just to keep the products rolling but I think I'm going to just do small amount of products and keep those videos short just to let you know what I really am loving um, the next thing was the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I recently threw that out. I think it was in my empties video. I'll link that down below. But that was a, I really like the formula, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liners, but I do prefer a black liner over a brown liner. So that one I wouldn't repurchase again. 
uh, the Revlon Color Study Liquid Eye Pen in Black is Black. Again, I love that liquid eye pen. It is perfect. I am using the Stila Stay All Day right now, but that is a perfect starter for liquid eyeliner. It is very easy to apply, and I would go back to it if I was looking for a drugstore. The next is the Mary Kay Mineral Eye Color in Crystalline, and I do have that one. Uh, this is in a project pan, so you'll see I don't have too much of it, but this is a really pretty champagne-y kind of color. Um, I'll see if I can swatch it next to the Wet n Wild color. It's kind of hard to swatch it now that I'm using it up, but it's a little bit more white. So this is the crystalline color and then that's the e.l.f. brow bone. Honestly, I think the e.l.f. brow bone is more pigmented than the Mary Kay crystalline eye color. So I don't think I'd repurchase this after I use it up, which hopefully will be soon. I'd just keep using that brow bone from Wet n Wild since it is so pretty. Only $3, like I said. Um, then the next two things I don't have with me is the NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. I love the Butter Glosses. That Strawberry Parfait one I do still have. It is currently, I think, at work or in my office. Well, same thing, at work. So um, I do like to apply that at work, as you can tell. It's a really pretty pink color. They're very pigmented, and the smell of them is really great, and they're just, they're just great. Try them out if you haven't. And then the last thing is the Balance Guru No Frizz Hair Oil. This is an organic sesame and lemongrass balancing oil. That was an amazing hair oil. I do think I used it up. I just put it a couple drops in my fingers, rubbed it down my hair, and it took away the frizz, kept my style in place, and I really liked it. So thanks for watching my rewind of my September favorites, July favorites, and CVS drugstore haul from last year. I'll make sure to keep doing these a little more regular so you don't have too many videos and too many products all in one video. But thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.